Dean forces Chris to open his mouth. He then puts a leash on Chris. Although Chris struggled desperately, it was to no avail. Dean then took out a 40 meter long sewer pipe. He shoved it directly into Chris' mouth. Chris screamed in pain, but the Dean didn't stop. He shoved the pipe into Chris' abdomen. Then Dean unscrewed the valve of the sewer. Instantly, countless eels went down the sewer pipe, swam into Chris' stomach. It turned out that Dean's purpose was to extract a drop of immortality medicine. Chris woke up suddenly. He finds thousands of eels wrapped around him. He bangs desperately on the window, but no one responded. The eels gathered more and more. Chris dashed forward. He tries to escape from the top of the pool. In a panic, he dropped his oxygen mask, but the top of the pool was firmly sealed. Chris frantically kicks the door with his hands and feet. As the oxygen dwindled, after 30 seconds, Chris stopped struggling and resisting. He slowly closed his eyes. He sank to the bottom of the pool. Instantly, he was swallowed by eels. When he woke up, he realized he had been rescued. He hurriedly told Dean that there were snakes in the water, but the two of them shone their flashlights into the water. There was nothing in the water. But when he went to the bathroom, he found tons of eels crawling in the tank. Chris was scared out of his wits, but when he came back to his senses, the eels were gone again. Chris was so angry he took the toilet apart, so he slipped into the lab. And here's the weird thing. The tank was full of 80-year-olds. They were all skin and bones. When Chris tried to sneak out, Chris was trying to sneak out when the Dean ran into him. But something worse was waiting for him. First, he immobilized Chris' head and put a belt around his mouth. And when he was ready, the Dean took out a power drill and shoved it right into Chris' little mouth and drilled out one of Chris' front teeth. Chris escaped with the girl. On the way, he met a man sent by the company to pick him up. But Chris didn't get in the car, but continued to take the girl down the mountain because he already knew the secret of eternal life.